Good morning. Shut up and let's get this over with. Right. Wait a minute. Cartwright, what is that? It's a stud, sir. I don't mean the earring. <laughs> Take it out or I will rip it out. But what about my human rights? You have to be human for those to apply, Cartwright. Out now. I'm putting you in charge of collecting the money for tomorrow's fashion show. The last time they had a collection for charity, nearly half the money went missing, and then the organisers started turning up in new trainers. Well, sir, whilst I'm really pleased that you think I'm trustworthy enough to... Oh, it's not that. I just know that if anything did happen, I could break you. Right. Well, the thing is, I object to the fashion show on a moral level. I'm sorry? It's not about raising money. It's a popularity parade. It's just the self-elected attractive people using charity as an excuse to show off. Well... This is a first. As it happens, Mackenzie, I agree with you. You do? Yes. Great. So you understand why I'd rather not compromise my principles? Yes, I do. Totally. Unfortunately for you, it's not the First World War. You can't conscientiously object. So, you either collect the money or it's detention. Starting now and continuing indefinitely. But you said you agreed with me. Yes, I know. It's a tricky one, isn't it? OK, fine. I'll do it. But I'm still exercising my right to protest. Good. Just make sure it's not a dirty protest like the last one. Modelling, that should be two L's. These gorgeous outfits are the equally gorgeous Christ who wrote this. You know your testicles sticking out? What? Is that why everyone was laughing? Oh, God, do you think people saw? Yes. It was eye level for most of the audience. Oh, God, no! No! I suppose you thought that was funny, did you? Well, your little jokes got you in a lot of trouble. Honestly, it wasn't a joke. No. There is nothing funny about testicles, Cooper as you'll discover tomorrow in my office. What? Sorry, sir, that, that sounds a bit weird. No, it didn't. Hey, Jay, look. Fucking hell, what's he doing here? Dunno, shopping? Gilbert. Gilbert! Hey, Jay, Jay. Waterside. Waterside. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. Right. A week's after school detention for both of you. Oh, what? Two weeks. Ah, no, come on, sir. We... Three weeks? But, sir, I... Four weeks' detention? Starting tonight. See you later. Oh, fucking hell. It's bad enough my mum's now practically internet dating. Mackenzie, did you just say your mother is internet dating? Um, sort of. Ah, interesting. I'm single at the moment, and she is very much my type. OK. Maybe you could set me up with her, and then who knows? If things go well, you could end up calling me Daddy. As I'm sure you're aware, there's been a spate of vandalism recently, culminating in someone adapting the flower display by the main road so that it now reads, We Come Tit Village. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you, Mackenzie? Well, a bit. Doesn't it make sense? We Come Tit Village? What kind of morons would do that? I think you know exactly who did it. What? I don't know, sir. Honestly, I don't. Oh, come on, Mackenzie. You're the sort of busybody that knows everything that's going on. You can't resist getting that beak of yours into other people's business. Beak? Yes, your beaky nose. If you don't tell me who did it, in my role as your UCAS referee, I will fuck your application up. I, I honestly don't know who did it. I don't. I would have grasped. You know I would have grasped, straight away! Yes, that is true. Well, you've got till Monday to find out, or it's goodbye first-rate education. Hello, the University of Lincoln. I think I'm going to be a dad. Neil, you have to fuck a girl for that to happen. I know, I did it with this bird from Asda and now she's pregnant. I think you need to talk to Gilbert about this. For all his flaws, he's not a bad bloke. And his role as head of sixth is pastoral as well as tutorial. He's what? It's his job. Then I pushed it in a bit, then out a bit, then in a bit, then my legs ate, then out again, then back in, and then it went off and now she's pregnant. OK, I think I get the picture, Sutherland. Cool. Look, isn't this exactly the sort of thing that Twitter or MySpace were invented for? No, sir. I was thinking about writing to the Daily Star's problem page, you know, the one with the photos, but it takes a week to find out the advice. OK, and this encounter, did it take place on the school premises or with a fellow pupil? No. Nah. Good. Well... What I think you should do is turn round, get out of my office, and we'll pretend this conversation never happened. All right. Cheers for that. But, sir, what about your duty of care? 
Listen, Mackenzie, the Sutherland's managed to pass his genes on. Maybe a looming disaster for mankind, but it is not my mess to clean up. But what about the oath? Sorry to disappoint, Mackenzie. Teachers don't start each day by swearing allegiance to the education fairies under a photo of the Queen. It's not so much a calling these days as a graveyard for the unlucky and the unambitious. Between you and me, the only reason anyone teaches these days is because they've taken a more relaxed view on police checks in recent years. Goodbye, Mackenzie.